Hey friends, it's Emily Curl here again, back in my room, back for another virtual interview, and today we're joined by one of my personal favorite artists. She's an amazing singer-songwriter in the country music world, Haley Witters. Woo! Yes! That is what I'm talking about. Okay. So where are you at right now? Where's What's your quarantine situation like? I am at my house in East Nashville. Nice. Um, it's gloomy uh, as heck here. It's been so rainy, which makes quarantine even more bleak, but yes. How are you guys passing the time? You're with your boyfriend? Yeah, so we live together and, you know, we've started to get in the routine a little bit now. This week has been a lot better than last week, I feel, but um, I'm just honestly like, I had a co-write today on Zoom, oh, so writing is continuing and great. reading books and then like, you know, trying to take a walk and then, you know, every night we've been sitting down and listening to a few records, so it's kind of nice. Ooh, what's your favorite? What's your go-to? Um, what is my go-to? We're all over the place. Lately, we've just been listening to so much. What did I have on? I had Vince Gill on today. Mm -hmm. um, we were listening to the new Sadler Vaden record the other night. Ooh. Really cool. Um, so we're listening to Tom Waits. We're kind of just like trying to work our way through our vinyl collection. Wait, that's great, honestly. Yeah. The it's music really to uplift your spirit. Yes. It's so good. Well, I have to tell you, I've been doing that with your album, The Dream. Ah, uh, thanks. It honestly is a dream. And, but, okay, to back this up, was, okay, so I was telling you, I've been a fan of yours for so long, but I actually, this was a while ago, I went to the Maren Morris concert at, yeah. um, at NBC Studios. At, yeah. uh, and you opened for Maren, and I was like, obsessed. You sang 10 Year Town. And yes. from there, my sister and I, she lives with me during the, during the summer, and that was our summer song. And now sometimes we'll always just bust out, oh, I'm 12 years into it. <laughs> That's amazing. I love that so much. But I remember you so specifically because of the story you told about writing 10 Year Town. And then that's kind of how you connected with Marin, right? Yeah. So I had, you know, what is the year? 2020. So 2018, I spent just kind of tucked up in this studio in Germantown, um, working on this record with Jake, my boyfriend, who actually co-produced the record with me. Oh, wow. And yeah, and we kind of just tuned out a lot of the industry and we're just kind of focused on making this record. And then, um, you know, we didn't have a team or anything around us. So when we were getting up to release, we decided to just put 10 Year Town up on social media and just kind of see what happened. And um, we were in Charleston the day we, the day we released it, and we just like put it on Instagram, and then went kayaking. And like a few hours later, I checked my phone, and all these artists had started posting about it, Marin included. So um, I think it was like a few weeks after we had released that song, my booking agent called and was like, "Hey, Marin just offered you the full leg of the girl tour." So. Were it you, was what was that feeling? I mean, were it you expecting it at all? I mean, even for her to just post about it, it's like you can get so holed up in your own little world sometimes. And like, it just felt so good to know that people were listening and people like Marin were listening and to see, you know, that song resonate with her. And I really just think, you know, in so many ways, she um, just turned over a new leaf for me and same with Brothers mm. Osborne they were talking about you know the song on the red carpet at I want to say the ACMs or something last year like so there's all these artists that have been very vocal about that song and I think that that song you know part of what makes it so special just especially in the artist community is we've all kind of been there mm. so mm -hmm. um, it's been it's been like you know Everyone in Nashville always says it all starts with a song, and it really, like, that really? song is the one that I feel like changed everything for me. Of your entire album, what song are you most proud of? Um, they all have, like, their own little special place in my heart, but I have to say I'm really, really proud of Janice. Yes, I, feel like, I knew, um, yeah. It's a story song, it's a real story, um... I'm just so proud of the message in that song and um, I love that it came from just these women that kind of influenced and shaped you know my life and Lori's life and I think we all kind of have that person that you know has had that advice that has always stuck with us and so I really love that and then 
also the message of that one, like mm. go on and make a good living, but don't forget to make a good life was exactly what I needed to hear a few years ago when I was at kind of that crossroads with what am I doing here? It's, okay. um, it's just like a beautiful reminder of like, no matter what happens professionally, like you need to be awake and present for the things that are happening presently in your life, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. Um, so I just, I'm really proud of that one. Yeah. And that's what I liked so much about the other songs in your album too. Like I also love red wine and blue where yeah. it does feel like you feel like you're transported to a moment with you. It feels really personal yeah. and the different stories that you're totally. telling. So last question before I let you go is, um, just like something light and fun where I heart, so we heart you. What are three things that you it. heart right now? It can be anything. I heart my dogs. Oh. I heart my book that I'm reading right now. Ooh, what's that? In quarantine, <laughs> keeping me sane. Um, it's John Steinbeck's East of Eden. Ooh, it's good? Yeah. Yeah, and I heart my, what else am I hearting? I'm hearty, I heart my record collection. Mmm, mm-hmm. Gotta go through that during the whole quarantine. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> um, Haley Wetters, thank you so much for being here. So happy to, have, to having finally me. meet you. Thank you. Have a good day. Stay safe. You too. I'll see Bye. you soon. Bye. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you stream all of Haley Witter's music on iHeartRadio, including her album, The Dream. You don't want to miss this. Red, Wine, and Blue is my favorite. So go stream it. See you guys next time.